welcome to Substation 33, where we'll teach you to take this and turn it into a 3D printer. Let's get started. Okay, so now we're going to fit the ramps power connector onto the power supply. So we're going to choose a couple of connectors. Uh, you need about, I usually choose about five five yellow wires and five black yellow being 12 volt and black being ground and in this case I'm just grabbing the the CPU power and one of the PCIe connectors and we're just going to chop off the connectors and use the wires so let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to end up with five wires so we can use four wires in this connector and one pair of four pairs for this connector, I should say, and one pair for the fan. Because we're going to run a couple of fans off, off the other pair. So just separate out your wires. I'm going to grab two yellow, two black. Strip. Don't yeah, just strip back about you know, 10 mil. So kind of what we're going to do is put two of these together. Twist them together. Do the same for the black. Cut that tail off, get it stripped cleanly. The reason we're um, putting two together, this is really only around about 5 amp wiring, it's not really 10 amp, and we're going to be drawing close to 10 amp off off some of them and it means you get more power into your printer anyway so there's less voltage drop on the wire so we're going to open up just get a little you need a little flathead screwdriver so open up the connector so unscrew the terminals and what I might do just to make it easier to see I might just grab the ramps off the printer just plug it in so you can see it. Let's grab the ramps and we're just going to plug it in. And you can see this, this top pair is for the bed and the bottom pair is actually for the rest of the printer. So you want to make sure you've got plenty of current going to the bed especially. The bed's around 10 amps and the rest is around about 5 amps. So the plus and minus is marked on the board. You can see a little plus and minus there. And we're just going to plug the plus into the top. Now just test it too. This is, I'll just show you how not to do it. So this is actually, uh, the conductors are too long. So that you can see it's hanging out the end of the connector. That's very bad because what tends to happen is that over time they can short out if someone moves it. So we're going to trim that back. So I'm going to trim it about three mils, four mils off it. So when it plugs into the connector, the, connect, the, can, the insulator should sort of go hard into the into that plastic piece. So there's no chance of it shorting to anything. And do it up. Just just test it. Make sure nothing's nothing's loose. Looks all right. Same for the black. Okay, and you can see it's too long. Let's take a few more off. And another thing um, you shouldn't do is also tin that you shouldn't solder this, you shouldn't put solder on it. It should just be just bare copper. We're going to need two, two wires for the bottom as well. I'll leave one, one pair spare for the fan. So I've actually grabbed a pair of uh, wire strippers because the, um, 
just having too many problems with that. So I'm just gonna again strip about 12 mil off. Twisting me together again. Make sure they are the same height. So the insulation's the same length. Mole's too long. So that's probably what, about six mil, seven mil. And that's ready. So you can put that back onto the printer. So we've got to cut a hole in the plastic of the printer to fit that connector through. And it'll be one of the next steps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.